8 p.m. at the Grand Slam USA. Now that is a wrestling card tonight. More matches you can shake a stick at. Great superstars like Baron Fox is going to be there. Hot Rod Biggs. Everyone that, man, I'm just excited. Bart, you're going to be there. Bart? Bart? Hey, Ted Taylor. Where's Bart at? I know he was in here earlier. Oh, uh, Jeff. Hey, how you doing, Jeff? Hey, I'd I'm, I'm rather have you here with me than Bart anyway. You're, you're, hey, you're a fine player. What's that? Hey, hey, we're live on the air. Yeah, yeah, we're on the TV, Jeff. We are on the TV. Oh, well, let's see what's going on here. Hey. Let's take a little match here with uh, your friend Bart Sawyer. Can't Sawyer. go wrong with this. you got some real talent on there. Bart Sawyer's there, too. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I won't tell him he said that. But not that you couldn't beat him up. I mean, I know you could. You know, but I won't tell him that you said that. Well, I was listening to you guys talking, Ken. I think you walk in a thin line. No, no, no. I'm, I'm just trying to be the unbiased commentator in this, Jeff. You know, I don't want to. I'm just being the unbiased. I don't want to take sides or anything. And, you know, and, but, but I, you're, you're a better wrestler. You're a better wrestler. Uh -huh. Okay, so, uh, well, but Bart does have you. Okay, that's good reversal, Jeff. You mean Bart has me. Really? No, you, you reversed. I'm riding him like a cheap suit right there, Jeff Taylor. Hey, and don't forget, Jeff, I know, well, you won't forget, you're going to be there, but I don't want the fans to forget that you are going to be in Columbia tonight. That's right. Columbia going to be at Grand Slam tonight. Me, with us and Dominique. We're going to go down there, and we're going to do exactly what we're supposed to do. We're going to take back our Mid-America Tag Team Championship. There's a lot of other big business on that car tonight, Chad. Yeah, well, you know, Bart Sawyer's supposed to be there tonight, so I hear. Uh, you know, I hope he doesn't get involved That's in the match. That's exactly I why I came change. down here today. You know, here it is. We've got this title shot tonight. The bullies are supposed to be gone, and now all of a sudden, Mike Porter's slipping somebody in on it. Bart Sawyer has just been announced on the card in Columbia tonight. Look at Renesto. He's going to pay. And for those of you who want to know more about the Columbia card, the hotline number is 931 five four zero three zero six seven so uh seems like bully's got your partner tim in a headlock but tim's trying to work his way out of it he pulled his hair right there well outside. sure I, I know tim could outpower him if, you know if it weren't for bully pulling his hair okay. you know, that's what for the ride big shoulder tackle that's why bully keeps his head shaped at least he can't grab his hair i tell you cat tell me jeff say what you will big bully douglas is a strong guy I don't take anything away from here with Barry, either one of the most tremendous athletes. But they're coming in here where they don't belong and sticking their nose where it should not be. And they're going to end up running to death again down the road. Well, at least you got Dominique watching the back. She's telling the referee that he was cheating, and the referee listened, it looks like, for a minute. Look at Renesto. He's slapping Bull around like a pump. And into the rope. That's a clothesline, and Bully catches Renesto that with one. That was a close fist, Bully Cat. Was that a close fist? Yeah, that fist was. It was a close fist. Oh, yeah, that was a close fist. I wouldn't, wouldn't argue with you on that, on that, Jeff. No. Wouldn't do that. I'll tell you, this card in Columbia tonight, Mike Porter's really outdone himself. Not only you got that tag team title match on the card, tell them what else we got, Cat. Well, let's see. It looks like we've got the big main event, a mixed tag match with Dante and Chanel against Chris Champion and Angel. I understand there's some real fireworks there. Well, let me little... tell you, I was there last week, and it, it, it was pure pandemonium on the end of that thing. I, I'm, I'm going to get me a seat out there, and I'm going to take a look at this guy tonight myself. Yeah, you know, I've heard about a love triangle, but with these four, it's more like a love octagon or something like that. It's really <laughs> twisted. I don't know yeah, what... Yeah, you got uh, twisted. That's the right word for it. Anything Chris Champion's involved in. You can bet your bottom dollar. Look at me right here. I got Bully right where I want him. He thinks he's got me like right here. Look at him. He poked oh. me right in the eye, cat. <laughs> that was I told a... you these guys are cheaters. Well, you're thinking along the same lines, it looks like, though. So, you know, you got both got the post in the eye, but you're the strong one. You recovered first. <laughs> it was a glancing blow. Okay, now, Bully's still over there trying to massage the uh, weakened eyes from your thumb action there, whatever that is. I don't know what. What do you call that move? <laughs> That's just a good old-fashioned thumb to the eye. Okay. I thought you might have a special name for it, like the like the, the Crippler's Cruncher or something like that. <laughs> hey, I don't know. I'm trying to help you out here, Jeff. I'm trying to give, I'm trying to give you a color to your move, you know, a little name for you. you know, uh, to te trademark them and give me credit. That's just the eye, Jeff. Oh, okay. Okay, now, now you said, now Bart was saying earlier, you know, a wrestler doesn't want to, a boxer doesn't want to make it a wrestler. So why is Bully trying to box him? He was up getting the fist ready. He's a cheater with a closed fist. Hey, they're telling us we got to take a commercial? We have to go to commercial? 
No, Jeff, we don't have to go to commercial until I'm ready to go to commercial. That's the kind of power I wield here. I've taken this spot in the commentator's booth, and I'm also calling the shot. And since it's your shining moment, we're staying with you. Hell yeah, you tell him, Chad. I'm starting to like you more and more. As a matter of fact, hey, are you going to be at that Springfield show, too? Well, you know, Jeff, it's a funny thing you should mention that, because actually, I am. You know, Bart said something earlier about me being a manager, and I said, well, I'm just doing commentary right now, but for you Springfieldians out there, you're going to see Cat Taylor in the Oh, corner. look at that. Was that not a beautiful arm drag, followed by a textbook hip toss? Look at here, big body slam. Boy, hey, you know what, Cat Taylor? What's that? I yeah, you can. You did a good job, but you kind of, you, I was putting myself over here. Now, I'm going to be in the corner of Flamboyant Fair and Fox in Springfield on the 11th. So that's reason enough to come out to Springfield and see the show, because I am going to be managing at the show. That's wrong. You're the 14th most powerful 19. person. 19. Yeah, but, oh, 14? No, did I move up? I'm not sure, Cat. If I'm 14, I, I moved up. Heck yeah. All righty. <laughs> All righty then. I'm also the fresh maker, you know. Hey, that guy's telling us we got to get out of here. Man. You sure you got this under control? Well, like I say, man, when I'm ready to go, we'll go. So, I don't know. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> That's way better. Does your car not want to go? Well, don't worry. Whipping you the ropes, looking like he's gonna oh, you duck one. I got him right you here. Duck this cat. Oh, big power slam from the bully. Ouch. One. Oh, well, it's, it's right after this. Right? That's what friends are for, though. You have Tim there to help you. So glad to see you. Glad to see you. You got friends there. And go ahead, Jeff. What were you gonna say? This this whole situation with the bullies is escalating and escalating, and it's it's, 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 to yeah, it's come to a climax and. I have a feeling Bart might try to mess with the match tonight. I think y'all have got a sneaky shoulder. feeling ever since I heard he was out of that car down there. It's like we're going to have to have eyes in the back of our head. We're going to go out there. We're going to put sudden impact away. We're going to take our belts back. And we've got to watch for Bart Sawyer the whole night out of the corner of our eyes. Because and all it takes is a split second. If you take nothing away from the man, he is smart Bart. And he's rocking with some punches right there. But, hey, also tonight, you know, there's that match that... I can sure it'd be very special because my good friend Hot Rod Biggs is taking on two fault for sure and we're going to have all these Colombian referees surrounding the ring and our good buddy in ball, Mike Porter, is going to be the special referee for that match. Know, there's, some, there's some footage coming up later in the show that's going to cover all that and let the people know exactly what's going on. But well, this is the first it, time, first time I've ever heard referees in Lumberjack and the promoter is the special referee inside. Ooh, nice DDT. Oh, you he didn't think he, nice, though, he did thought you? he had me right here. Yeah, but you're just playing possum, aren't you? I'm just leading him into it, brother. I'm just leading him into it. Give him that false sense of security. Hey, uh, what's up with the uh, Dutch Mantel attire that you wear there to the ring? Is that, you know, that after, are you a big fan of Dutch's? Or? I know Dutch, and I've done business with Dutch in the past, and Dutch is a good guy to know. It's just a particular way I happen to like to be in the ring. And, uh, you got a problem with that? Absolutely not. I kind of like it. I was going to say, you know, I, oh. <laughs> you and go, once again, you Bart. outsmarted Smart Bart. I told you I was just waiting for the right moment to suck him in, and there it was right there. Cat, I kicked about 50 of his teeth out with that chair. <laughs> well, that's, that's more than the people in Columbia have all, the, all around the ring, so, you know, he can fit right in now. Now, what's going on over here in the corner? It looks like the bully's uh, living up to his name. He's trying to bully you a little bit. Well, I had Bart right where I wanted him and bully him again, stick his nose in it. Well, that's a shame. You could have had the match won already if it weren't for that. Man, I really hate the way these guys don't play fair with you, Jeff. And then you got the whole second impact. You should be the champion. But you're going to fix that situation we were never tonight. Beat, we were never beaten for those belts, and you know that. Mike Porter oh, yeah. this whole thing up to help him get those little guys to be champions. Somebody some yes men for Mike Porter because he knew he couldn't put the thumb on with us there in that Well, you know, yeah, they are obviously Mike Porter's uh, heavy favorites. He's biased towards them. I'm going to have them on Cap's corner today just to, just to confront them about these situations. And it looks like a double knockdown there in the ring. I may stick around for that one. Oh, yeah. So this thing tonight in Columbia with Bart on that card. I tell you, I got an uneasy feeling. It's going to take everything we can do 
Because if you give him an inch, he's going to take a mile. And I guarantee you, if we blink one time, Mark's going to be a wing side trying to pull something out. Well, wish you got Dominique to watch your back. She can watch out for you. You guys just pay attention to what's in the ring. I want you to come in here next week with those Made America Tag Team titles. Because I think in Springfield on Tuesday, you have to be involved in a, is it a three-way dance? With a, it's a three-way championship tag team extravaganza. And look at me, look at me firing up on Bart right now. I got him looking right good. Right here, Renesto, we're handling up. Sending the boys back to USA. He could knock down he was. Yes. I'm fixing to put him away right here. I've got him right where I want him now. And Dominique, what you doing out there? Talking to the referee, helping you out there? What, what's going on here? That's cool. There he goes again. He missed something over the corner. He's moving him over on the outside. But I got Bart right where I want him right now. Yeah. He's giving him the big elbow. And look, right here, cheater that he is, what's he got in his hand? I don't know what that was he hit me with, but I know it put my lights out. I have been hit by a lot of men, and no fist is going to knock me out like that. Bart saw you had something. But and what's now, you? look, here they are. Porter's little twin son, Porter's little personal They're helping you out, though. They're helping you out. They're Let me tell you something. Two weeks ago, we did not go out to do them a favor. We went out and took care of business, and we saved company titles from going somewhere else. These guys say they're trying to return the favor. I don't think so. There's nothing owed, nothing to be returned. We took care of business when they dropped the ball, and now they've come out here and cost us a victory against the Bulls. Well, see, what I think they were doing, they were hoping to get a, light, a much lesser beating from them tonight if they wouldn't help them in this match last week. I really honestly believe that these guys said, hey, maybe Jeff Daniels and Tim Renesto are good guys. Maybe they came out here and tried to help us. Oh, maybe they did this, and oh, maybe they did that. So let's go out there and give them a hand. But what they did was take every little bit of pride away from us because we had the bullies right where we want them. We had them beat the center of the ring, and you saw that, didn't you, Cap? Oh, yeah, I saw it. I, I know did. you did. Yeah, you'd have and the these guys stick their nose in, toss us the match. And then they say, hey, come on, we'll go buy you a steak. Just shake our hands. Be our friends. We need friends. Well, let me tell you something. Bart said it last week. There's a little something around here known as a Tennessee handshake, and these boys are going to learn real quick you can't be gullible in the wrestling business. Well, sure. I mean, like I say, I think we're afraid you're going to get them beat. You say, oh, let's go help them. They're going to go easy on us. And our name is Sudden Impact, so... Sure. I tell you what, get, listen to these crowd. Listen to the crowd in Columbia. Okay. They're actually they thinking. Yeah, oh, right there. Impact. Here's your lesson, boys. <laughs> Just oh. remember, you got something that belongs to us, and bottom line, we won't stop till we're back on top. <laughs> Big Jeff Daniels, why you got to be so mean? <laughs> okay, Don't let's show me more of this, Cat. Let's get out of here. Absolutely, you whipped him. Let's take a look at that car now. Tonight, in Columbia, Tennessee, at the Grand Slam at 8 p.m., in 